Of course, we know Fontella is the writer and the speaker, and I have asked her to share a poem that she wrote about the Haycraft family. Uh, I entitled this poem, Just Mom. We all called her mom, but you know, as she got grandchildren, that was more or less changed to Granny Mae. And I think everybody in Hayworth probably remembers Granny Mae because she worked at the school. And, you know, everybody knew the Haycrafts, I'm sure of that. In a small community nestled among trees, many of rare beauty and size, where the earliest of settlers settled, my, how it seems the time flies. Blooming Grove, where the wildflowers nod in the breeze and all of God's creatures peacefully roam. Listening to the rustle of swaying leaves, this grove was the home choice of many of my ancestors. Also the Haycraft family, as it was for many more. Here, Mom and Dad strived with the times. They reared six children, they did so adore. And just down the road stood a little church, and everyone far and near would come to worship to hear God's word. The sanctuary was filled, never fear. A group of ladies from this stately church organized the Blooming Grove Ladies Aid. And though the church is no longer there, these memories will never fade. Memories of basket dinners, delicious cakes and pies, Christmas programs, ice cream socials, all of this form loving ties. Mom Haycraft worked tirelessly in many ways, joined in fellowship, worshiped and prayed. The many lasting friendships, these are folks she'll never forget. Tis peaceful to sit back, rest, just reminisce a bit. This is her way of life and she still looks forward to each new day. It's not been easy for her since Dad passed away. But as the days come and go and time marches on, she gives thanks each day for a bright new dawn.